and welcome to Grandad Reviews. Today we're going to have a look at PC connection options in the Fuji X cameras. So when we go into the menus under the spanner we've got connection settings and in there we've got some options. So we're going to have a look at those. So down to PC connection mode and in that we've got five options. We've got USB card reader, USB tethered shooting auto, USB tethered shooting fixed, wireless tethered shooting fixed and USB raw conversion backup and restore. So we'll have a look at those, see what they do and how to connect them. So let's uh, shoot over to the computer. So all we're going to need is obviously your Fuji camera and a USB cable that's attached to your computer. And for this first setting, that's all you're going to need. So on the camera, we go to menu, the spanner, and then connection settings. Go down to PC connection mode and we'll set it to USB card reader and we'll come out. Now I've only got images on card two, so that's the only card that's going to show up uh, when I show you this in a minute. If you've got images on card one and two, then you'd get both. Remember, switch your camera off, put cable in, switch camera back on, and it'll come up USB. So if we go into a file browser, yeah, my PC, you see that we've got the XT3. Click on there, external memory, which is your cards. Let's say I've only got images on slot two, so that's all that's showing up. Go into there, and there's your images. And any videos that you've got, so you can just drag those straight onto your computer. Simple as that. So now we'll go to the second settings. And for this, you're going to need to download some free software, which is called Fujifilm X Acquire. You can get it from the Fujifilm uh, website. I'll put a link down in the descriptions. So you need that for this next part. So you get that running. When you first run it, it doesn't seem to do anything. But it puts an icon down in your taskbar. So if you right click on that, you can go show window and you get this movable window and it's saying there's no camera. You right click and go specify folder. This is where the images are going to end up. And I'm going to put them in there. So now that's set. There are some preferences in here. If you go to preferences, move this out of the way. You can specify the file formats to be transferred, so JPEG and RAW pins. Camera. Specify interface to search for connected camera. USB, we'll leave it at that at the moment. And in linked software, you can pick what's going to open the, the files. So we've got all that set. USB cable out of the camera for a start. We'll go back in and go back to connection settings. And down here, we're now going to go to USB tethered shooting auto. Now, what that means is that when you do take a shot with this tethered to Fuji Acquire, it will also write to the card. So we're going to there, come out, switch that off. We've got a cable in, switch on, and in a second we should get the name of the camera and then all the settings that's on the camera. So if I alter the aperture, the aperture alters. I change the shutter speed. Alters as well. Same with the ISO. You can see what ISO you've got. Obviously exposure compensation will show up as well and whatever white balance you've got, which is on auto at the moment. And still focus, take a shot, goes across the screen, shows it there. And if you go to our folder, 
that we picked, that we created, there's our image in our folder. Now, the good thing we can do with this as well, and again, free software, if you've got Capture One for Fuji, the free version, start that up, yeah, under camera, you've got hot folder. Select your hot folder, so if we go on there, and I've selected that one where the images go into. So make sure there's a tick next to that. So next time we take a shot, goes into that folder, and there it is, straight up into Capture One. I take another shot over here. There it is again. So you're tethering. Right, let me switch this off. Pull the USB, switch it back on. If we go into settings again, but this one fixed, as it says at the bottom, images are not saved to the card now. They're only going to be sent straight to the computer. Switch it back on. All right, so now we're in tether captured fixed. So what's going to happen here is when you take the shot, still you've got all your settings here, you can still alter. But when you take the actual shot, it's not going to get recorded to the SD card. It's only going to get recorded onto your PC. So you haven't got a backup of that image. Uh, that's really the, the only difference there is. Now, the next setting on the list, I'll show you. It's in here when you go down to connection settings. We'll miss the wireless one for the moment. We'll go to USB raw converter, backup and restore. What this one can do in its most basic setting is still using Fuji Acquire. So we we'll connect ourselves back in again. Acquire doesn't show any settings now. But if we go into here, we have backup camera settings, restore camera settings. So if you can click on back up, it'll ask you where you want to back it up to. It goes to its own default setting, which is this documents Fujifilm conditions. Name it whatever you like. So let's name it today's date and save. And then if you want to restore it, click on it, pick the one you want to restore, go open and it'll restore all your settings back to your camera. Or if you've got another X-T3 uh, that you use and you want to uh, have exactly the same settings on it, you can back up this one you've set up and restore the other one to that settings. Now the other thing we can do with this, which is nothing to do with the choir, so close that down, is you need to download another free software from Fuji, and this is Fujifilm X Raw Studio. So if we open that up, what you can do here is actually process raw files that's on your computer but using your camera and there we are learned something new you've actually got to use the same raw files from the same kind of camera so it's got to be an xt3 camera so in here we can come down here and change our profiles so we can change everything here then convert it to a jpeg so that's that setting we'll come out of there and we'll switch it off So the other setting is very temperamental. We don't need the USB cable anymore because we're going to try and do it wirelessly. So first things first, you go into the menus and you need to go up to connection settings, network settings and actually set up your wireless settings which will be another, another video on that. But you've got to pick your network that's in your home or office at the time. 
get that all set up and then you need to go down to and select wireless tethered shooting now images are not saved to the card these go straight to the computer so we click on that one now you'll see that we've got a red light flashing saying we're in wireless we then open up acquire right click preferences camera search network go ok show window it's found the camera on my network so now we're connected to the computer wirelessly one word of warning raw files take forever to download so this is shooting raw I'll take a shot require initially say no no camera and it will sit there so we're going to our folder and we just have to wait and we wait and there it comes so it does take a little bit of time if we go into here change it to more JPEG see how quick that one comes through so initially it says no no camera we've got red working XT3 so there should be a smaller file and it comes so it's a fair bit quicker go back to raw let's do that again take it no it says let's see how long that takes yep still going oh should we soon Again, this will all depend on the speed of your wireless network. Flashing red, so it's still sending it. So personally, I would only use this for JPEGs. Uh, the RAWs just take so long to come through. And there it is. Well, if we do it back to JPEG, do normal JPEG. And I say the good thing with this now is, we're going to capture one. Uh, let's do a shot. And it's thinking about it and there comes the image there's a JPEG so there's a look at connection settings PC connection modes uh, as I say we've got USB USB tethered auto USB tethered shooting fixed wireless tethered shooting fixed and backup um, so if you want to shoot tethered I'd use a USB, um, but there may be a reason why you want to use wireless. I just normally use it on USB card. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you are notified of any more videos like this, hit the subscription. And if you want reminded, hit that bell button. Till next time, see you later.